Now let us look at how the self management is connected with career management. To understand the linkage between self management and career management, the competency framework or 21st century competencies list is an excellent window. So this research was conducted by Boyd's and it was followed by many other uh, follow up studies. What they communicate is that there are three clusters of competencies which are must, which are required for professional success, without which you are not even in the game. But these competencies are not the determinants of the success or not determinant of the outstanding performance. They are not the determinant of differentiating the average performers from the better performers or good performers at workplace. The, those competencies which are minimally required, which are minimal requirement to be in the profession are expertise and experience. You, if, if I am a software engineer, if I need to work on the Visual Basic or Java, I must know that language, I must know it technically. Second component is knowledge. Knowledge is different from skill. Knowledge is different from expertise. Knowledge is much more broad based. Knowledge is about not only what is the Java language, but it also about where to use, which module to be used for which product, how to convey your idea, what is the procedure of doing things in the organization, what is my declarative knowledge which is which, which I have certificates about and my ability to look at the pattern how my knowledge is connected to the other fields. These are this is called knowledge which is different from having a specific skill. Then assortment of the basic cognitive abilities like I should have a sufficiently strong functional memory, I should be able to understand the reasoning, logic, these are the threshold competencies. If they are not there, I am not even in the game. I will not even get selected for a job. But what distinguishes growth in any career are some other set of competencies and those competencies are classified in cognitive, emotional and social intelligence category. Cognitive intelligence category or cognitive competencies which are the differentiator are not about just basic cognitive competencies which we just discussed by now. This new 21st century cognitive competencies are systems thinking and pattern recognition. Pattern recognition. Systems thinking meaning our ability to recognize how one variable in a situation or in a problem is connected to other variable and other variables how it is not by looking at just impact of one variable over other i can understand a phenomena i need to look at i need to first of all recognize that there are no straight cause and effect to variables found in the nature Everything is affected by everything else. Large number of factors affect each of the factors. So, our ability should be to look at sufficient number of variables, look at the pattern, how they are affecting each other and what is the system boundary. Because if we look at the universalistic perspective, everything is connected to everything else. So, where we have to stop. So, we need to stop where it is meaningful to make some difference to a context to a identifiable context that is systems thinking my ability to look at things look at phenomena not as the impact of one thing over other but look at phenomena as the constellation of variables as the constellation of multiple forces operating each other operating and influencing each other second category of uh, uh, competencies which are 21st century competencies are emotional intelligence competencies this emotional intelligence competency is about being aware of my own emotions, being aware of others emotions, self-awareness. Also 
our ability to manage our emotions and ability to carry out conversations which can help others emotions as well. As in the neuro linguistic programming they say feel the feeling and choose the action the choice the choose the action part is of the mind of the brain of the intellect and feel the feeling is about the making sense and giving proper name to the to my senses and to my feelings this is very important to establish a long term relationship very important to strike a conversation very important to hold a meaningful conversation with others because in the conversation there will always be a dynamics there might be disagreement there might be some arguments there might be different perspective towards all these different perspective or different take we should be able to maintain our emotional calm then only we can find a common ground to take ahead my work so emotional intelligence is very important social intelligence that is also arising from the social, uh, emotional intelligence and systems thinking that is the third category of the competencies which are identified as the 21st century competency social intelligence is being aware of the social awareness social intelligence is about social awareness it is about relationship of management competencies empathy team work looking at the impact of business on society looking at the interaction of the regulatory factor social factors religious factors their effect on each other identifying the right narrative ability to communicate with the masses because with the help of social media we have got the power of communicating with large number of people at the same time and that kind of communication requires very good understanding of the social reality we all are living in a world where reality is actually socially constructed different people naturally have different ways of looking at things in this world which is inherently socially constructed which is result of the selective perceptions and priorities of different people how do i communicate with large number of people is a very critical competency and that is identified as the differentiator of average performer to a good performer if we look at all these competencies what do we see we see that these competencies cannot be developed as passive learners these require deep self engagement these are not like learning simple mathematics this is also not like learning simple programming or learning any type of programming because in the programming you have a logical sequence which is pre identified in the mathematics there is a logical steps which are pre identified but these competencies cannot be exercised by pre identified programs these can be demonstrated by constant practice and there is always a novelty in a social situation there is always a novelty in the personal interaction so we have to be conscious in observing and building on these competencies that's why that requires deep self awareness and all these are linked with self management if i am not able to manage my mind if i am not able to manage my emotions if i am not able to build my cognitive abilities if i am not able to enhance my metacognitive ability meaning my ability to see the pattern my ability to see how life situations are deeply interconnected and over the period they play out in a distinct way if i am not able to look at the long term cannot have the long term and short term perspective and if i cannot distinguish these i am not able to build my career and build my life and in the framework of the competencies which are required in the 21st century we can see these are deep there is a deep connection of 
career success and life success and that's why these two things merge here interestingly self management research though we are having this course for the general uh, so though we are having this course for students and learners from any stream most of the research in the self management is happened in the medical field about and that is related to disease management what was found in the medical sciences that self management is a very important component of the cure of the patient patient has to be involved in the treatment and the process of cure and self management because because that is required for for the uh, for the patient to to follow the protocol to follow the exercise to uh, to follow the instruction uh, by the uh, instruction given by the doctor uh, taking the medicine on time taking all the treatment on time as per the instructions of the doctor all that is required and that is possible only with the self management so doctors cannot believe that if they can treat the patient patient has to take charge of things and he or she has to indulge into self management sorry he or he has to do the self management and in the medical science problem solving decision making resource utilization formation of the partnership action planning and self tailoring all these things are identified as the component of the self management research in the medical sciences if i remove the medical sciences from the title of this uh, slide and if we look at these factors aren't these factors relevant in engineering management social sciences economics or any field or in any profession problem solving is required situations are emerging new technology new factors are resulting into very different kind of situations regularly person has to be good at solving problem they have to make decision we looked at in the knowledge uh, uh, knowledge workers related decision that knowledge workers now have got great autonomy and great power autonomy of autonomy because they have got the training and power because technology has become such that one person can influence a large number of data or large number of processes very highly impactful processes can be managed by one person and new things keep emerging that requires decision making resource utilization it is not only sufficient to have the technical resources person has to be resourceful psychologically person should be able to look at the available resources discover the available resources whether it is human resource technological resource because nowadays resources are all up much more abundant as they were before knowledge is abundant technological insights are abundant much more abundant than in the previous times thanks to internet thanks to internet of things thanks to uh, uh, great globe the force of globalization so person has to be conscious about acquiring resources utilizing resources identifying the resources able to build a partnership it is very important in the gig economy it is important in the knowledge economy if i am able to build a partnership then only i can provide the great experience and opportunity to the customer to transform the service so building large long term relationship building partnership is a, is is very important capability in the current times to be successful in any profession action planning in the dynamic situation i i need to look at my own target i need to fix my own target knowledge worker have to work on their own plan they have to work out their own strategy in their uh, vicinity use their resources and they have to keep indulging into self tailoring because many different compositions and uh, uh, patterns are possibly emerge at workplace 
because of the abundant resources knowledge opportunities ability to interact with large number of people across the world we can tailor the offerings whether it is service or product and of course we can tailor the experience associated with that product and service so all these six factors which were first dis discussed in the medical science seems to be very relevant in any other field when we look at the self management and self management lead to self efficacy so we need to reflect upon self we need to look at self in more detail so that we can not only manage it but also enjoy that